a Japanese rest watch with a lot of future potential. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watchkin, a channel where I try to present watches that aren't on your radar yet. Today we're going to talk about a brand and a watch which looks simple at first but features a lot of elements which might surprise you. We're going to talk about the Naoya Hida and their sleek Type 1C. If you saw my video about the custom Christian Klings with a salmon dial, you might remember that we spoke about Mark Cho, the co-founder of the Armory, co-owner of Drake's. Mark came to Zurich and we decided to meet up. Once I saw which watches he brought with him, I had to review them and here we are. By the way, if you want to know more about high-end men's fashion, check out his YouTube channel. It's definitely worth it. Just check the link in my description. Noya Hida started his own brand in recent years and there's already signs that if their growth and product development continues, this can can become one of the next big things from Japan. Prior to starting his own brand in Tokyo in 2018, Noya Hida previously used to be on the marketing and sales front lines for 30 years for Japanese distributors of JLC, Breguet, F. Pijon and Vashon Constantin. Shortly after starting his own brand, he met Kosuke Fujita, a watchmaker he knew since 2007 while they were both at F. Pijon in Tokyo. Naoya also made a very good engraver. The mission with starting his own brand was to create what he says to be his ideal watch. The inspiration for his designs are dress watches from the 1930s and 1950s. I love discovering new brands and there's always something cool and special about Japanese watch brands. When you hold them, they feel different, have a different soul and also I always imagine the artisans how they would meticulously work on their craft in a beautiful atelier. What I like about Japanese watches is that they're not loud and have an aggressive appeal, but they rather have this appeal of, if you look close enough and really study my watch, you will see why it's special. I just love everything about the dial of this model, and although I'm not the biggest fan of off-center second sub-dials, this one works for me. This is not the only model from the brand so far. They created the Type 1C, the Type 2B, inspired by the 1960s dress watches with a center seconds hand, and last but definitely not least, the Type 3A with a stunning moon face complication. So far, the Type 3A is my personal favorite, but I would also be happy with owning a Type 1C, which you'll take under the loop here. The whole dial is actually made out of German silver and is deeper than you would expect. Most dials that you see today are 0.4 mm thick, but this one is 0.8 mm thick, which is double and it also allows for a deeper engraving as we can see here. The striking numerals are hand engraved by a very skilled artisan and after that he inks them with a synthetic Japanese lacquer for a glossy, deep and three-dimensional finish. I love the color and feeling of the dial, it radiates warmth and has this vintage appeal to it. The Naoya Hida in Code Tokyo is also engraved with a very precise machine and the execution is super clean. Around the periphery of the dial, we've got an applied and brushed chapter ring for the minutes to add depth. The same is the case on the second sub-dial and also add a chapter ring which works as a nice design touch and gives the whole dial a more 3D look. The hands are exquisitely made as you would expect from a watch brand made in Japan, of course. They're leaf-shaped hands which are polished and after tempered or heated to achieve this blue color. The tip of the minute hands is slightly bent by hand to be more precise on the minute track. Same with the small seconds hand. It's polished by hand and afterwards tempered to achieve the same blue tone. This model features a closed case pack and that is because if you remember and do some research on vintage 1930s and 1960s dress watches, they weren't using exhibition case packs that much, or at all. Inside is a movement that might surprise you. Its base is an ETA 7750. Yes, that 7750. One of the most widely used chronograph movements made by ETA, but as you can imagine, it's really deconstructed here. They reduced the whole movement to a manual wind and even built a new plate for it. They wanted to use the ETA because of its sturdiness, but also because they wanted the second sub-dial to be further from the center of the dial. This movement made all of that possible. From what I know, Naoya Hida is a self-funded brand and with the help of the first patrons who bought into the brand, it is going to hopefully develop a hand-finished movement in the future. They took the rotor off the 7750 as well as the chronograph function obviously and the power reserve now is at 48 hours. The case is made out of SUS 904L stainless steel, it's round and features a concave bezel. It's polished and brushed on the side. It's waterproof up to 50 meters, so I definitely wouldn't advise you to go crazy with it around water, obviously. The buckle is beautifully and neatly polished as well. It fits the design and on the wrist the watch feels great. 
I can easily see how this could become a daily watch for me. The diameter is 37mm and the thickness or we should rather say the thinness of the case is 9.8mm. It combines the world of independent watchmaking without truly standing out in the crowd. But for those who know, no. And that's what I like most about it. Aside from Mark Cho, another prominent supporter of the brand is also Eric Koo. If you don't know him yet, check out his Talking Watches episode on Hodinki and more so his Instagram channel. You'll be amazed by the watches he owns. These two men definitely know what they're buying. Due to the recent launch, these watches are made in a very low quantity, but are increasing over time from what I saw so far. To give you an example, this model was launched in 2019 and came out in only 7 pieces. It was sold out in 3 months. In 2020, they made 25 watches which sold out in 9 months. And in 2021, last year, they released another model which was an addition of 40 pieces and sold out in just 3 days. I love how they're getting more and more traction and introduce more models. I'm looking forward to seeing new watches in the future. For those of you who like the brand and are considering one, the price range goes from 17,000 to 23,000 US dollars, depending on the model and also depending on how quick you are. If you want to know more about Noe Ahida, how they fit or any other question, check the website. You can also chat with Mark Cho directly on his Instagram channel, he's actually an official dealer for the brand as well. I will put all the links in the description so you can easily check them out later. Let me know what you think about the brand if you knew them before and also tell me which is your favorite model. The Type 1C, Type 1B or perhaps the Type 3A. I'd personally go for the Type 3A. Like this video and subscribe, I will make sure that it's worth your time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Friday.